Okay, we are back. Um, and we are doing Pandoc. Okay, so, um, yeah, once again, we, okay, so. So instead of the null context here, we are if Pandoc enter, then, okay, so with, Okay, because that's going to be right, so with hand doc um, uh, we don't even need that actually with hand doc right. so basically we're going to do this um, and once again we'll start with our context of null context so that we do effectively what is the branch by abstraction, right? And why are we doing this on such a small scale? Well, because we want to train Alice later to understand this, right? So, okay. Um, so let's go grab that function. What was that called? Um, it was called Pandoc Intender. Okay. Mm -hmm. There it is. There it is. Right. So then we won't commit that line. All right, so now let's go. Let's do a diff. All right, so let's format that file diff not service dev. Oh, I don't like that. Okay, so unindent 1070. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, we'll do that. All right, so here, 1070, okay, still not happy with the unindent level. Why? something somewhere weird. I'm not seeing it. Let me see the diff. Okay. Oh, yeah, we have tabs and spaces. So just do a little line replace there. I don't see any paste. Okay. Worth me. There we go. All right, so let's check the diff again. Right this up here. So, that explains that. Okay. Um, so there's the diff. Okay. So what do we have here? So we did a couple things going on. I can't remember if this happened on log or not, but this is just a slight refactor to make each of these take arguments. And then we're going to pass that uh, argument that we did earlier. Um, no. Where'd that go? We're going to pass... Where is that? Looking for oh, hiding and staged. That's why. This. Oh, man. Okay, so no strict 
load fill, right? So we're going to pass that through there in args. Okay, so, um, and we're probably going to want to unstage this actually. Git restore. see that in the diff there. Fantastic. Okay, so, and actually, I'm going to commit this real quick before we go any farther. So this was a little... Uh, how this is still there. All right, so model scratch anomaly detection score. Uh, relative update import of anomaly detection to relative in to update to relative to use relative import for anomaly detection. Boom. Okay. All right, great. So where didn't what wasn't there another one of those though? No. Nah, it's... Did this go? No. Oh, great one. Well, Okay, so this did. This is what we're working on. Okay. So this we just committed. This is what we're working on. What are we doing here? We're trying to get the docs build working so we can uh, unblock player on the uh, deploy super light. Uh, not on the, on the intuitive and accessible light rotation. Great. Um, in her deployment of Jupyter light to the Git pod environment because she's on a Mac. Control the Python setup there. Okay, so because we didn't require installing all of the plugins to have. Currently, to build the docs, you have to have all the plugins installed, which is problematic if you're on Mac. Because uh, not all the plugins will install on a Mac. They don't have the dependencies. Okay, so dependency help. So all right. So then, all right, so now what do you think about running this command? Uh, no context. I like the way that turned out. That gives you both in one. That gives you the refactor and the, yeah, I know. Well, I wasn't supposed to do that exactly, but. Um, I feel like it's fine, right? Yeah, that's fine. We refactor and we introduce new functionality. But our introduction of new functionality is gated by a conditional undefined. So we broke it. So we prove the point. We prove the point that you shouldn't do that. Okay. Fine. All right now once again with this. Okay, so what are we gonna do here? So let's go ahead and commit DFML service dev do add dash p. Right, so we're gonna add a few chunks here. So we don't care about this right now. Uh, we do care about this, but we don't want it like this. Right? So what do we want? We would like to do this separately from any of that. So we're just gonna delete this whole block here. 
So we don't care about that. And then we're going to do that. Right? Let's see, no. These just become spaces. So it's still a little rusty. Okay, and then now I think we can just do. So now what if we say if staged, right? So now we should see this. So now we should say git commit. And give the message of service. Dev uh, refactor. Refactor. Um, So, okay, now I'm going to have to spell. Can't spell auxiliary. Refactor auxiliary, um, or uh, refactor helper docs generators or plugins. What are those scripts? Okay, uh, so for plugin. Okay, I think previously we had had like separate API docs for operations and stuff, but now that we're unifying everything and we can use the types and everything, so we can just use the standard auto docs, so we can get rid of this stuff. Actually, that's cool. So, okay, yeah, well, that's awesome. Actually, that's, I'm never going to see that. It's one of this. <clears throat> okay. Do list. Um, uh, deduplicate docs code as we unify operations, data flows, classes. duplicate docs code as we unify operations data flows and classes. Um, uh, who no longer need separate big jumping code now that everything uh, hooks into the typing Refactor calls to helper docs generators uh, for plugin API and um, user friendly.
All right, so let's take a look at that diff. All right, great. So let's do another. So let, let's look at what the current diff is. Okay, so now we have this null context thing. Great, so let's add p dash p, right? Okay, so we don't care about that. Now let's look at this. Right, so what do we want? We don't want that. Right, so we do want that. Right, so then get diff staged. Right, this is what we want. We want to just bump it in one, no change to functionality, right? So uh, yeah, so let's do commit. Right. So um, service step prefactor add null context to branch by it's like to follow it's it's not it's like we're doing branch by abstraction but we're doing it at a very micro level sort of thing by doing each commit we're we're going to teach Alice this methodology by doing by associating each commit. Now let's look at what's left. All right, so now this is just a pandoc change. Right. See, there, there we go. Um, so, So now, yeah, okay, so then we yield, and we'll have pandoc now, so we will have put it in the temporary directory, we create the temporary directory here on line 984, right, we create a context stack so that we can flatten this out or else be, uh, we can't do a, we can't do a, we can't flatten out a for loop. You can't, you can't, this is the way you do that with the exit stack is if you have to do it like for with the width, so it acts, it's, it's the exit stack. And it, it, what it does in it is it just calls the inter method, the underscore, underscore inter, or in our case, when we do a lot of things, it's the underscore, underscore, uh, uh, a enter. Um, so, and there's, so the double context entry pattern is described in the docs. Um, and basically you see this double with and then with, right? And that's why we have two two objects a lot of the time. So whatever the object name is and then whatever the name is followed by context. So there's model and then model context. And so source and source context. Uh, and that represent that's reflected in that double context entry pattern. Okay, so <sighs> All right, I think we're good here. So let's do this back to the call. Okay, so if I'm just gonna put through for now. And then we should see a create attempter. So So the docs missed. Okay, so we screwed that one up. Well, I screwed that one Um, now I forgot to have done script args here. Let's see what happens. OK, 
Okay, so it didn't like that. Okay, so. I didn't like that self. Didn't like self. Where's self? Okay, let me use self. So I don't know why I need self. Oh, God, I was talking about making an upgrade. Okay, so with pandas. Oh. Well, now we have, okay, null. All async contacts. I don't know what they would name it. Async way. And then there's the a enter, so it doesn't have that. Okay, so context search. All async contacts. Not a bad idea at all. Just use the uh, async exit stack and go and use it. Great, thank you, user, whatever that number is. All right, so assuming that I'm. Base. <clears throat> Cache download unpack archive is not defined. Okay. It's a valid excuse. Let's make sure it's reported. There's cache download, there's cache download. Let's do it again. Prepend to path is not defined. So then we read space bang git wrap prepend to path. We get a bunch of examples right there. So it comes from this package here, till OS. Okay, so we'll just say what's that? the whole house discussion. Um, I was just thinking about how could we make the thread. So I was like the original discussion thread. I think we could do includes with RST and auto generate the includes with RST, or just use like a Sphinx extension. I think. Okay, could be interesting. Okay, so. Okay, I think we built the. Uh, it looks like we built the docs. Um, so. All right, so we only have a couple minor edits there. So we're going to add those back. So we're going to commit each individually. So add dash p, if mouse service dev, that, or no, those both, those are both involved in the same one. Yes, yeah, so we want both. 